Look at how cute that is. Well, earlier Jen was out at Aquatica, and now she's tracked across SeaWorld because she heard a sweet story about a father that will do anything for his child. It's such a cool story. How's it going out there, Jen? Yes, exactly. Penguins, we're learning so much about them. The fathers, but also the moms. Oh, okay. Freckles is back to talk to. Right, Freckles? Yes, I have Linda Weisenheimer here with me, and we're talking about penguins today. Not only just how they are great parents, but look what we have here. It's a chick. So tell me about the chick we have here. Okay, so this, believe it or not, is actually a king penguin. Um, if you look right behind you, that's what an adult king penguin looks like. So very different. Look how look at that difference. Wow. This guy's like so a big brown teddy bear, right? Mm -hmm. He's only four months old. So he actually hatched in February. Oh. Um, he's been growing pretty steadily, as you can see, ever since. He weighs about 20 pounds right now. Pretty independent at this stage, eating a lot of fish on his own very well. Um, his mom and dad live inside the habitat. An interesting fact about him is his father is actually about 32 years old. Wow. Yeah, and he's got several <laughs> like, yes, siblings. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I, we don't really know yet if this is a boy penguin or a girl penguin. And for penguins, the boys and girls look identical. There's no way to look at them and tell. So what we do is when they get old enough to lose all this soft down, the chick feathering and get in their adult black and white waterproof feathers. We'll take a few feathers, we'll send it to a laboratory, they analyze the DNA of the feather and they'll tell us if it's a male or a female. Wow. And since he's only about four months old, we do have a few more months before okay. he fledges. So, so we don't quite know if it's a he, really. We don't really know. <laughs> yes. No, right now it's impossible to tell. And you said the king penguins, they are the only ones in there that walk around with the egg and then they'll transfer it because so, you guys keep track of the nest, yeah. correct? So that's really interesting. Penguins are so fascinating. Um, king penguins are very similar to emperor penguins, mm -hmm. the really big ones, in that they only lay one single egg. All other species of penguins are going to lay two. But the king penguins are going to put that one egg on top of their feet and they're going to use something called a brood patch to keep the egg warm. They'll only then have one chick, obviously. But what makes the king penguins different from emperors, and you know a lot of people are more familiar with emperors because of the movies that they've been in, the kings actually stay together the entire breeding season. They're amazing wow. parents. Uh, mom and dad will both take turns incubating oh. the egg, keeping it warm, and then they'll actually both take turns keeping their chick safe as well. Wow. So at this stage, this is still going to be hanging out with mom and dad. Um, they're, they're babies through the entire South Antarctic winter. And if you come visit us at SeaWorld, when you're able to, you'll see it's dark in the habitat. Mm -hmm. We keep the lighting cycle exactly like it would be in their natural environment. Mm -hmm. So it's the polar winter, it's dark, but you still have babies like this guy right here. Got it. And then, and it's funny how the size difference here, because you look at the rock hopper here, this is Freckles, and uh, we don't have much time left to talk about him, but can you tell me a little bit about yeah, Freckles? Yeah, Freckles is one of my favorite penguins, one of many people's favorite penguins. Super sweet, young male rock hopper penguin, two and a half years old. Um, he has met countless people because he absolutely loves meeting oh new people. So he's a great bird to bring out to introduce to everybody. He hatched here as well. Okay, so you have a great breeding program. Again, you can come out here to SeaWorld uh, starting June 19th, but you can make a reservation today. So go online, SeaWorld.com, and you guys are just doing such amazing things out here. We could talk forever, right, about there, the penguins? Yeah, of course we could. You wanna say bye, Freckles? You wanna say hi, Fiona and Mike? Back to you guys. Freckles has got Freckles has got a wicked kind of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Such a cool hairdo. Oh, that that little four month old baby house just trying to snuggle in there and yeah. Oh. Okay, that's that's fascinating.